Today we're going to be talking about how and why a narcissist will bolster and deflect in conversations. Welcome back to the show. My name is Lisa A. Romano. I am the Breakthrough Life Coach and today we're going to be delving into the intricate world of narcissistic behavior, specifically focusing on how and why narcissists bolter and deflect in conversations when they feel caught lying. But before we dive in, let's understand what narcissistic personality is. Narcissistic personality disorder is a mental condition characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance. It's characterized by a lack of empathy, a constant need for admiration, a sense of entitlement. They feel like they're entitled to exploit people and they also need constant admiration. Narcissists also believe that they are special and unique and they deserve special treatment. They believe that they're above everyone. There are many misconceptions about narcissism. One common misunderstanding is that all narcissists are overtly arrogant when in reality, some narcissists may appear charming and charismatic, making it challenging to identify the true motives. And some are very vulnerable. One key aspect of narcissistic personality is the inability to experience genuine empathy. Narcissists may mimic empathy, but it's often a facade. They struggle to understand or connect with the feelings of others on a deep emotional level. They also lack a conscience and introspection. Healthy love involves mutual care, mutual respect, and support. Narcissists, on the other hand, love what others can do for them. Relationships are seen as transactions, and they often lack the depth, and they often lack the depth and the emotional connection found in healthy relationships. Now let's explore why narcissists resort to bolstering and deflecting when caught lying. When confronted, they feel a threat to their grandiose self-image. Narcissists might deflect or might divert attention by blaming others, playing the victim or gaslighting or manipulating someone into questioning their own sanity. That's them deflecting the topic of the conversation off of them and onto you. When they're using a bolstering tactic, what a narcissist will do is that they will exaggerate their achievements. They'll name drop or they'll engage in self-promotion to maintain the illusion of superiority. It's crucial to recognize when you're dealing with the narcissist and to know how to protect yourself as the best you possibly can. Here are three quick ways to exit a conversation. Set boundaries. Politely but firmly establish your boundaries. Make it clear that certain topics or behaviors are not acceptable. Number two, use the gray rock method. Use the gray rock method. Keep your responses neutral and uninteresting. Narcissists thrive on emotional reactions, so depriving them of this can discourage their engagement. Disengage. If the conversation becomes toxic or manipulative, it's okay to walk away. Choose your mental health and your well being over trying to reason with someone who is absolutely not receptive. Understanding narcissistic behavior empowers us to navigate conversations more effectively and protect our emotional well being. So remember, it's essential to prioritize your mental health and surround yourself with positive, supportive relationships. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more content on understanding complex behaviors. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered. If you love this content, don't forget to check out the next video and you can go to my website and take the codependency quiz.